Hi, this is Piotr Walczyszyn. I'm an Adobe Evangelist. So this is a first uh, video tutorial for the whole series, which I title HTML5 for App Developers. So if you're, if you're like me, an app developer, uh, used to technologies like uh, Flex, Flash, uh, Java, .NET, um, you may find HTML uh, in some uh, cases awkward or difficult to understand. So in order to make it easier to, uh, to start playing around with uh, HTML5, uh, I prepared this uh, this short uh, series. Mm, we'll start with uh, tooling. Uh, so the first episode is just about Dreamweaver, uh, and the second one will be about Eclipse. So a free uh, tool uh, with some additional plugins that make the development very simple uh, and and easy. Okay, so let's see what uh, Dreamweaver first is. So it's a tool from Adobe. Uh, it's targeting uh, web developers, web designers. And if you want to get started with it and feel a bit more like at home or feel a bit more like Eclipse, uh, you can uh, customize the layout. So by default, it uses the designer uh, workspace layout, but you can change it to app developer. So things will be repositioned and they will feel a bit and look a bit differently, but we can further customize it. So uh, I like my files view to be on the left hand side in the upper corner. Uh, I would like anything regarding the styling and properties of the styling on the right hand side here. Uh, we can close things that are unnecessary, so like close tab group here, which we don't need. And maybe we want to add a new window with the, the all kinds of uh, HTML tags. So let's take this one and let's put it here together with the AP elements. Okay, uh, now uh, in Dreamweaver, uh, you can group your uh, content of your application or, or your uh, project in something called site. Uh, so we can go to manage sites, you create new site, let's give it a hello world name. And let's give it exactly the same folder name here. And let's save. Now, if we're done. Uh, it creates a, an empty site structure. In my case, I already had that folder with an index HTML, but let's create just a new one. So we can go here and create new. Oh, maybe let's go to more. Let's create because we have more control under the more function. So we can select a different doc type, HTML5. Let's create new one. Now, if we want to save it, let's override the existing file replace there we go and uh, now if i here in a code editor i can start uh, writing my uh, code so hello world first of course now if i want to style it let's uh, let's pick something from the text tab here select heading one there we go if we want to put it in a div let's say to give it a bit of a structure uh, so we have something called layout and there is insert div, we can give it like content ID. There we go. Now, there is uh, multiple uh, very useful functions here on the left hand side of, um, of your code editor. So first one here, uh, very useful if you're deeply nested in your uh, document structure and you want to find out where you are or select uh, actually some code blocks. Uh, you can use this button here. So select parent tag. So you'll see that if my cursor was in hello world text, it selected the H1. If I click again, it will select the and again, next parent tag, which is div next body and so on. It's useful when you have really nested um, structure and you want to uh, find out where, where you are. You have similar option also for uh, Java uh, script development. So here you go. If you're deeply have some anonymous internal functions in your function or, or some uh, dynamic objects uh, declared with the curly braces, this is also a very useful feature to uh, um, find out where you are in your uh, JavaScript code. Uh, some other stuff, if you want to like clean up your code, you can do here apply source formatting so it will nicely clean up your source code. And another hint here uh, is that if you want to, let's say, apply HTML comment, you can use this uh, feature here. So I encourage you to go through these, find those that are uh, most useful for you, and of course, use them. Now, if we create a new 
javascript file and let's save it and let's create a scripts folder there we go let's give it a main js file name and let's create a new function hello world you can see that it highlighted that there were some syntax errors now that everything is all right after i completed my function and here i can use a code completion so as usual with uh, ides you can invoke the code completion with a control uh, space uh, shortcut and let's just display alert box with some message of course hello world there we go um, the code completion uh, will find some uh, functions uh, also it uh, can handle a jQuery functions so it's very very useful now we can close this main uh, JS and let's link it with our uh, index HTML so we can here insert HTML script objects script navigate to our JavaScript file press OK and it included our JS here so now if I save it and I refresh it you will see that I have access to my J uh, main JS directly from my index HTML so if I open it th this way uh, it's very useful because it opens your JS in context of your HTML document so the code completion will be able to resolve the IDs of your div tags or uh, some uh, other components in your in your HTML document structure but let's go back here and under our hello world we can create a button here so you can see the code completion works here uh, let's use on click event to invoke our hello world function and let's here put a label hello like this so command f12 it launches here and we have our main GS launched and invoked directly from here okay so as you can see um, Dreamweaver is a really nice tool for HTML development and it will help you with uh, your first steps okay so stay tuned for my next episode it will be all about Eclipse and again HTML5 development thank you very much and bye